So, this is the 1200cc liquid cooled high torque motor. They use the same motor, same transmission in with the Bonneville Bobber as well, and the Bonneville Bobber Black. The really cool thing with this bike is it shares a lot of similarities with that Bobber Black. Some things that make it a little different, a little unique. Okay. We're going to start with on the Speedmaster, they move the, the, forward, the controls all the way forward. Okay, so you're used to that traditional uh, cruiser style. They put the ignition in here on the side. They do it with the, um, the chipped key and the anti-theft ignition, the immobilizer ring, that kind of stuff. Um, this bike here, we've actually set it up in a touring package. These are the wax cotton bags, which have a, the ability of being a quick release bag. So we got this little piece right here, we pull that off and the bags will slide off. Um, and part of the significance is that, of that is once you do pull it off, the bags will come with a strap and the bag will become a shoulder bag. So you can bring it into work with you or if you're out on a trip, you bring it into the hotel, that kind of fun stuff. Um, some other neat features with this bike besides being a 1200 cc motor being you know a little over 500 pounds so it's super light it's super agile you get really good front brakes they teamed up with brembo for the brakes on this we've actually put the windshield on it we've got a great package price on this bike right now um, we put the upgraded touring seat talk about comfort we got the passenger backrest on it Okay, some things that are really nice with the the 1200cc bike is when you look at the controls. Sorry about that. You've got your all-in-one starter and kill switch. You got the this button with the M on it that's for riding modes. You got hazard lights over on the the other side. You got the information button. You got your blinker, your horn, and then that button comes with cruise control. So when you first turn on the bike, some things are the same on all the Triumphs. You'll have your flashing ABS light, which means ABS is actually working. It finally shuts off once you get moving about five miles an hour. But that information button that I showed you will scroll through the different things up on the, the clock. Right now you see the odometer, you see a gas gauge, you see um, road, which is one of the two riding modes. When you hit the M button, that'll change. That's your other mode, you get rain mode. And then it's got your gear indicator. Hit the information button. Now you got trip one, you got trip two, you got what you'd be getting for mile per gallon right now, what you're averaging with the bike, how many miles till empty, your clock, again, 24 hour time, your RPM, so you, you need to know where your RPMs are at. Traction control, this is kind of cool. On most of your new Triumphs, you can actually turn traction control off, but every time you turn on, it'll be on. You press and hold that I button, it turns it off. If I turn the bike off, turn it back on, it's back on. Or once again, you press that I button, it'll turn on. And we're back to that. Um, all of the Triumph motorcycles now come with locking gas caps. Looks like a retro style gas cap as well. Triumph has done a really good job. This bike is super light, it's super nimble, looks fantastic. It has kept that Bonneville styling that Triumph is most known for but then giving you all of the new, all the new features that your insurance companies like, like the ABS brakes, the traction control, the anti-theft ignition. So it's got the new technology. These bikes look like they're old carbureted motors and they're definitely not carbureted. They definitely have a fuel injector on it. So very fun to ride, very comfortable, torquey, all those things. You guys wanna come check this bike out? Be happy to set up an appointment, get you guys in. You can take her for a test ride, see what this bike's all about. You won't be disappointed. Well, that's about all I got on this fantastic motorcycle. You got any questions or comments, let me know. Be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, you guys, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're having a good time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.